Hey. Yeah. Thank you, SDMD, for the four-month resub. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, sorry we had to step away and get everything set up. Chell is sending DMCAs and she's righteously angry. And I had to pee. Equal time commitments, I guess. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm just gonna start sprinting sideways. Oh boy. Uh, I remember how to play. Yeah. I'm gonna have to switch out the uh, the Blitzball champions. Oh boy. We're in for a rough time. Because I can't launch anybody. Oh! Okay, so he can he can do it. It's just for some reason Ajna is only in arrow mode, and I got to get her out of that. But that ain't going to be that easy. Okay. I really like the foliage in the background. Okay. Yeah, the foliage is good. Here I go. Well, that didn't work. Crumble. This is real awkward. Because you have to launch this guy to be able to hit them, but none of these guys have a launch attack. Which is... Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Okay, there she has it. Depend on where you're putting your stick. No, it it depends on which characters. Cause, uh, for example, uh, Dar doesn't have a down attack. Um, Blitzball champions literally just chuck ball. And that's all they can do. Whereas Dar Dar is the only one with an up. Up attack that actually causes the enemy to bounce. So yeah, I got to switch out uh, Hunok and Zebok because they aren't, they aren't cutting it. Sometimes Aj, sometimes Ajna's okay. Uh, other times she really ain't, and it's kind of unfortunate. All right, so we're outside the city again. Okay. See. This will go much smoother. Oh, uh, well, sort of. I guess I let him touch the ground for too long. It's okay. Is it sitting on a ball of earth or something? Uh, you know, it might be, yeah. Because every time you hit it into the air, it's not just its tentacles flailing around it. It has a, a sphere that it's holding. Yeah, so as long as this thing is touching the ground, period, it takes less damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. Which makes sense, because it's a rooted creature. Yeah, it would have made sense if it was actually rooted, though. Occasionally it puts its hands on the ground and then sends roots Yeah, but like if it's... It's throwing its eyeball at people? Yeah, it also just does not do damage to us. Like, if you notice, nobody's taking any damage. Like, I I think we might actually have gotten over-leveled. Because it can't hurt us. Which is really amusing. Well, fog! Let's see. Oh, but come on. Whoop, that was a close one. Oh yep. yeah, now you have the bouncing ability. Yeah, so I have the bouncing ability. I have a bunch of stuff. Let me just view the map in general. I don't think there's anything up there. There might be something around there. Down there, yeah. And up there. 
several spots up there. Ah! It is very easy to miss with that one. Okay. okay, great. Oh, well, we've seen these people before. Yeah, we have. But now you have a means to crawl up this. There we go. Uh-oh. Do you have to... to aside? Oh, that was a close one. Oh, oh, a ring cell. And a kitty? Or is it a dog? Uh... It looks like a cat, but it has a short oh, tail. It's a, yeah, it's a short-tailed cat. It's just, it's just stretching. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't believe short-tailed cats exist naturally. Or if they have to be docked. I think they have to be docked, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think docking in, in general is cruel. I know that it's standard for a lot of dog breeds. Like, what would be examples? Probably Dobermans, Rottweilers... Schnauzers. What other dog breeds tend to have dock tails that I can recall? Uh, for reference, when a tail is docked, it means that it's cut off so that there's like a little nub. No, there are bobtail cats. Aren't there? Like, uh... Yeah, they, they do have shorter tails, but I don't think house cats... No, I... Come naturally with short tails. Ignite. Yeah, I I don't think cats do. I know people tend to uh I know people tend to dock the, the tails of munchkin cats. Oh, corgis. Oh. I wonder if corgis have their tails docked or if they're naturally like that. I don't know. That'd be really good to look into. Knock it off. Because I don't know if I've ever seen a. Maybe I've seen a corgi with a tail before. Holy crap. Ow. We might have some troubles here. Not so fast. Uh. Not quite. These guys. Huh, there oh. are seven breeds that are born Focus. without waggers. Ha. French Bulldog, Boston Terrier, Welsh Corgi. And I thought I was over. They have to have a mutation. Australian Shepherd. I thought it was over leveled, but then these guys just came along and suck. So maybe there is a bobtail? Okay, a natural bobtail. Mutated gene. Looks like some cats do have natural bobtails. More than one gene is responsible for tail suppression in cats. Oh! So, and yeah, various lynxes and bobcats. But there are a couple of breeds of domestic cat that do. Annoying. Interesting. Yeah, but unfortunately, in order to attain the look, a lot of people end up cutting off the tails of their dogs and cats. And oh, I just think that's so sad. And cruel in a way. Most definitely. That was, this is an insane difficulty spike. This is a completely unnecessary physical altercation. Well, alteration. Yeah. Same with ear clipping. Yep. I was, uh... Because I know that some dog breeds have their ears clipped so that they are upright. I was reading a story about a woman that just randomly, like, kidnapped her kids' dogs. Ow! Just to have their tails cut? Or uh, not, their, their, their ears? Their ears cut, yeah. Ew. 
Oh. And there are some dogs that have their ears naturally go up. Hey. Aww. But there are many that don't. Holy shit, these enemies hurt. What kind of wild difficulty spike is this? Harsh. Yeah, the one bad thing about floppy ears and dogs is that they get a lot of ear infections. I know I had to take care of one or two dogs. Yeah, like I could understand it if your dog is going to have like a legit medical issue. But the problem is that's how they bred them. So having ear infections with floppy hey, ear dogs ow. is just a more natural occurrence, and it's unfortunate. It's it really is. Okay. I will say, though, we talk about dogs way too much on this. Oh, sorry. But this was a... There was a cat with a, a tail I know, that was bobbed. But, but and it got still. me thinking about... About whether or not it could be natural or if it was something that was done to it. Oh, look, there's graffiti of that common Rider guy. Electrocuted. Ah! That's awkward. I, uh, I know how to get through this. But it's not easy. Actually, maybe it's better. Okay, there we go. Oh, don't you have to get... That is really hard. Because I effectively have to jump and... Uh, I have to jump and... and switch which one is bloomed. Oh, one set of blooms can only exist at a time? Yeah. Uh. Oh, wait. Hold on. This might be easier. What? Okay. There we go. Come on! Oh, so Come you, have, on. you have to make sure that you bounce. I was bouncing! Yeah. That looks like it's a very tiring... What, the pogo? Do. Yeah. Because she has to grip it with her feet. There's no bar to put her feet on. Because you can absolutely poke her oh, on oh, that. Oh, I know what you should do. Uh, send yourself up really high with the staff. Yeah, no, I should do that. Because then it would give you more time to get back into pogo mode before you get down. Okay, so... Pogo? Or, yeah. Send yourself up. Oh. See? Easy. Well, that works. Yeah. You're right. You're the welcome. hitbox on that electricity is way too large. Now, is there... So there's an area directly above me. Aw. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get there. What area? Something above you? Oh, you can't bounce on the signs, just the hey. lanterns. Oh, really? Because it let me, let me bounce on them earlier. It's apparently not well enough. We should be able to scale the tower now. Ajna, dear, if you would use that power I showed you. Yeah, here we go. Finally. Oh. 
Also, oh, welcome, El Elzerath. Seeing as you're hanging out, and I forgot to greet you yesterday, mainly because I couldn't see biscuits. Oh, yeah, you're able to get the chat to work again so that it's larger while we're playing on the TV. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I haven't... You know what? I'm actually gonna just... Wait, you're gonna kill yourself? Don't! No, I'm actually healing. Wait, how are you healing with that? <laughs> I... Don't know. Great. Okay. Yeah, I, my my chat is like six point font on my on the like the new Twitch dashboard, and it's awful. Uh, so I pulled up a just regular non dashboard uh, chat, and that has the bigger fonts, which is nice. Is this the former Deva? Yeah, I think so. Nope. No, it's someone else. Where the heck? Uh, I guess we want to go down somehow. Looked like he had a cat or kitty. Maybe we go up here. Mm -hmm. Instead. Eh. Eh. Wait, what? Layering? Oh, wait, no, layering is fine. Are people fine with just having these giant... Oh, look at that! Is it like a little caterpillar creature? It is, and it's sleeping in the basket. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cute. Oh, oh, a bunch of cats. For a second, I thought this man was hiding his... his bits behind... The... Like, he was totally naked, and he was just hiding behind the crystal. Oh, young lady, you look sufficiently forthright and upstanding. I have an urgent question. Have you seen my cat? I would undertake such uh, the search myself, but it's vitally important that I remain in this vicinity for the time being. Vitally important, the fate of the world and such like. Do you have to talk to all the cats to... Oof. Oh, ahem, <laughs> meow. Squirrel, what? Thelma? Meow. You're bug lady. Ah! Oh, thank goodness. That's what's down there. Why, hello, darlings. We meet again. You're the jerk that keeps setting traps for us. What's your problem? Why, I'm simply a man who recognizes a flower in bloom. What? Is that gross? It's gross. You're gross. Oh, I'm not talking about you, darling. You're but a child. It's the one with the giant cannons I'm after. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree there, bucko. And after I left all those delightful traps to ensnare you, spurned. Tarani. This guy's a weirdo, right? I should say so. I'm hurt that you would say such a thing. I simply wish to get to know you all better. Power attracts power, as they say. Your face is gonna attract my fist if you don't get out of here. No! My beautiful face! Tarani, I can beat this guy up, right? With my blessing. Ha <laughs> ha! Get ready, creep! I'm ready for anything- Ugh. Stop! Setting traps! Ah, okay, okay, I give. Just kidding! We, we learned barnacle, barnacle grip. grip. Hang on to ceilings. <laughs> Damn. Uh? That's. What? Pretty freaking mighty. That was not the platforming trick I thought I would be learning today. Now who's following who? Can it, weirdo? We don't have time for you. Oh, and who is this strapping young lad? I'd happily add you to my collection as well. I will not be collected. Will you leave us alone? 
I'm afraid not, darling. I am meant to keep watch on any suspicious characters entering the city, and, if need be, dispatch them. You lot have been deemed worthy of dispatch. You want to get stabbed again? Mm, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Nothing you say makes sense. You know, I just can't bring myself to kill you after all. You're just too precious. I will take my leave for now. But I assure you, Garuda will not be so lenient. So do you think that's his butt? Through the... Through the sides? Oh yeah! No, those are his hips. Because I was wondering that, it's like... If you got the angle wrong, would you just get full moon on display? Maybe I, I don't not. think they go all the way back. Have you ever seen... Those, it, it's traditional Japanese pants, if I'm, if I mean, I, my memory serves if, me right. I've seen it so many times where, but usually they have something underneath. I mean, usually it's I was just, just getting distracted by the fact that they meticulously rendered his nipples out. I don't know if any of the other bare-chested characters have them. Uh, we can check the Blitzball champions, but... <laughs> Man, I'm just on, like, an absolute JRPG don't kick this... Me. this winter. I don't know why, I just, like, really want to play, like, every JRPG I haven't done a series on. It's weird. I think it's because, for the most part, we've only really been watching one anime. Yeah. There ha Recent anime has been kind of disappointing for me. Annoying. Like, pretty much the only good one that I've enjoyed... Oh, she is down for the count. Uh, like, it, with the exception of Demon Slayer, there really hasn't... We, we stopped watching the slime. It's because there was a lot of fan service and a, not a lot of payoff. A lot of posturing, too. Well, really, the whole... Focus. What reincarnated as a slime business was just... I am all powerful. I'm going to keep acquiring powers. I mean, powers. I think there's a power fantasy to that. And then also, everyone... Any enemy that he makes invariably ends up joining him, with the exception of some of the demons. But there's just, there's no tension because he's always a able to eat something and overcome it. Again, I think there's kind of a power fantasy of it. It's more of kind of like the outcome is more interesting than the actual execution. Mm -hmm. And then I did like shield hero. But... They spend all the time talking. They do spend an awful lot of time talking, and also, much of the first season or two is just spent trying to convince people that the main character isn't evil, and that they're serving the wrong forces that be, and that that one princess was manipulating everyone. But... And, and then... Some random villains come out of nowhere. They're like, ha 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 ha, we've been pulling the strings the whole time. Now die because of our ultimate prayer laser. Yeah. And then the queen comes back in the picture and it still doesn't solve. I don't know. It's. Mm. Ow. And also, oh. I just like how he's been slowly gathering a group of female characters that all have crushes on him. Yeah. Harems are almost... See, I like this kind of equivalent of, like, Ashna's harem, which is just every single kind of friendly person she's run into. Where it's just, like... <laughs> goofy, I guess? Focus. But they're all very varied. Right. And... Not quite. Clearly aren't interested in her. Yeah, I know. I, I'm making a dumb gaffe. But, like, ensemble casts are fine as long as the characters are interesting. Next. 
Okay. I actually have to try here. These enemies hit like trucks now. Down you go. Okay. Ow. The one thing that I am disappointed about with Demon Slayer, even though I absolutely love the animation, the characters are hilarious. Uh, they try to humanize the demons, but unfortunately it's always right before they end up killing them. I don't really like the villain, though. Or those that work under him. He definitely reminds me of Naraku. But, in it, from Inuyasha. But in any case, the one thing that I am disappointed by is that while there are a number of female characters, none of them are part of the main party. Annoying. And the one that is, is mute. Yeah. So I would like there to be a prevalent female character in the future. I get stronger, maybe. But no, you're you're correct that I actually haven't been watching a whole lot of anime, so I guess it kind of makes sense for me to get kind of hooked on JRPGs for a while. Well, you just played a JRPG where every female character had yeah their their bosom. I will give just credit though. Bursting at the seams. I will give credit though. None of them were like particularly bad. Uh. No, no, no. Like visually bad, yes, but hi. Who was that guy? So many weirdos in this place. I'm here. Yeah. That was Garuda Cruel, my former brother in arms. Where'd you come from? He now follows Mara. When the righteous fall, they fall the hardest. Garuda, what in this world has warped you so? So are you warning us or helping us or? Duty calls to me. Wherever there is a person in need, I must follow. I'm gone. Well, all right. Bye, Naga Rider. Is he always like that? Super cool, you mean? I guess. That must be his catchphrase. I'm gone. Well, I'm here. I'm gone. I'm here. I'm gone. Time yeah. To get wrecked, losers. <laughs> Cheap shot. What is Garuda just gonna keep slamming you from? Yep. Above in his what was it like a? Was he a bird himself or Yo, was he weak. in a rocket? We oh. like babies. Some kind of flying contraption. If I can hit him like that. See, why do I get the feeling the Buxom game was Fire Emblem? No, Fire Emblem was actually comparatively reasonable. It was fairly tame. Like, okay, a lot of Buxom Better characters. Die, uh, like, there was there were definitely Buxom characters in Fire Emblem, but very few of them were just, like, tits for the sake of tits. And if they were, it wasn't so bad. Ah. No, it was Code Vein that was particularly buxom for seemingly little reason. Well, by your account, the female characters themselves actually weren't that bad, but their choice of attire yeah. just didn't seem to mesh with the post-apocalyptic world that they were in. Yeah, well, yeah. And all the guys were sensibly dressed, too. And so it's like, it was a pretty good game with like a halfway decent JRPG plot. But, uh, randomly just. Oops. Uh oh. Randomly just all of the women just were wearing like nothing. And the guys were all, as I said before, sensibly dressed. Like Yaku Yakumo, he was wearing like super skin tight stuff, but like. They're all vampires. 